Good night, Shelby. Hi, my name is Shelby Counterman. I am nine years old and I collect cockroaches. Now, when it comes to addiction, we have all sorts of addiction. There's a whole category for addiction. One of the most popular ones is collecting stuff. We got people collecting Pokemon cards. We got people collecting baseball hats. We got the gamers collecting the skin of their favorite gun in their favorite video game. We got people collecting Lego pieces. We all have that one friend who has a whole collection, thousands of videos downloaded in their hard drive of corn videos, videos that you cannot find anywhere else on the internet anymore. Do not worry because he has you covered. We got the weirdos collecting, paying for random woman online for their underwear we even got jeffrey dahmer collecting skeletons of every single person he unalived for me personally my addictive collection was last year where i used to collect cats yes i was a whole cat lady in my neighborhood i had 18 cats i was doing a whole collection black white black and white purple i had the gray one i had the white one i had the orange one i had the orange and the white one everything you name it and it was a real addiction i used to be really good at it as well i used to go on the street i used to kidnap kittens and i was really good at it as well my fastest record was kidnapping a cat in 20 seconds and just bringing her home giving her a home it, it sounds wrong when i say it but it was a wholesome thing and for today's video i decided to check out tlc's channel see what's happening for those of you who are not familiar with the tlc youtube channel they post the most wholesome family friendly content ever and we've done some videos on it for today's video we have this we have this nine-year-old shelby counterman who collects cockroaches whenever a cockroach comes inside the house and he's like haha i'm gonna take over your house i'm gonna give birth to hundreds of babies and we're gonna take over your whole place well the jokes on that cockroach because shelby would love that I started collecting roaches, I only had five, and now I have thousands. And what is her goal? Her goal is to teach the world not to be afraid of cockroaches. I don't think anyone's afraid of cockroaches, Shelby. I think people are disgusted by cockroaches. Not because they smell funny, because they look funny. And this girl really reminds me of, you remember Man in Black like 20 years ago, like the OG uh, films when he came out and that cockroach man? Exactly the same. And for some reason, they kind of look the same as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if she turns out to be his daughter. I like roaches because when they crawl my arms, they tickle me and when I hold them, they can be real happy. She's here to show everyone that a cockroach can be your pet as well. You can get free tickles. If you feel lonely, just get a cockroach, put it on your body, and you're going to feel free tickles. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh my god, Kush, that is a very disgusting obsession to have. Cockroaches are disgusting and ugly. How do you know? Have you ever tried to talk to the cockroach in your house? How do you know they're a bad person? You never know until you try. Next time you see a cockroach, instead of spanking them with your flip-flops, try to have a conversation, try to see what bro is going through. You never know, you, you might become besties with them. Um, I could do without them, but she really likes them, so... I absolutely don't love the cockroaches, but I can deal with them. I do have freak out moments every once in a while. Oh my god, get those! Get them all! Okay, on a serious note, if you think about it, it's better than your daughter coming out and be like, Mom, Dad, I'm decide I decided to be a boy. I'm a dude now. But on a serious note, it's absolutely disgusting having pet cockroaches. And I feel like the parents should say something. Bro, you're about to get your child bullied you're in school you're about to get your child raised as a weirdo i feel like this is the parent's job at this point just to come forward and be like yo this is weird stop doing this and if the kid lashes out it's like no it's my they're my best friend you can, you can never take them away from me i hate you i think it's a very appropriate time for 
these parents, these two parents to take notes from our parents and let the kid eat some slippers. I also want to point out that the cameraman is an absolute le legend. I want to give full credit to this guy, this fucking legend for t t getting these amazing shots for us because God knows if I was there, I would be screaming. At th they won't be able to talk because I'll be screaming in the background. Never to the skate, mommy. But overall, you know, I've come to accept Shelby's passions. My favorite thing about roaches is that they are unique and special. My favorite thing about cockroaches is that someday in the near future that they will all go away. I want to disagree with the dad over here because I just watched the movie Love and Monsters where the insects... Uh, for some reason, they start getting like enormous. They start getting extremely huge and they start eating 99% of the human population. So I don't know about all of that. I also believe she watched that movie as well and she's preparing herself she, an army in case insects decided to get all huge. She, she is there with an army to protect her. I want to teach people about my roaches because they're not monsters and they can be really cute and funny. <laughs> Dubia roaches. She is pregnant, and right here you can see her egg casing in the back of her abdomen. These are my Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Sometimes they're too noisy, I will hiss at them. I'm honestly as shocked as you. I never knew how cockroaches sound like. I thought they were just like silent because I've never in my life seen a cockroach this big, and I. I've never knew how a cockroach actually sounds like. I've, I've met a lot of cockroaches in my life and in my apartment right now, I've seen a lot of cockroaches as well. I believe behind the walls under the cabinets, there's a lot of eggs of them as well because each week I see at least like two, three cockroaches and my cat is absolutely useless with it. But I never knew a cockroach fucking hisses at you. And this girl hisses back. It kind of explains why my cat doesn't really do anything to the cockroaches. Maybe when I'm not there, the cockroach hisses at the cat and the cat hisses at them and they have a whole conversation. But having this many cockroaches in your room as well, I don't know if the cockroaches smell or not. This many cockroaches, maybe there's like a whole scent to it, but apparently maybe they're used to it at this point. If I was this girl's friend and I find out about her secret obsession, I would... If I was... Nine years old and I was her friend. Just wanted to cl clarify on that. And I find out about this weird obsession. I would rather go to a haunted house at nine years old and rather than enter this house. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm a very big pussy when it comes to cockroaches, spiders especially. I'm terrified of spiders and snakes. If I see a snake, I will faint. And I've been in situations where I was with my girlfriends at the time and they were like, oh my god, spider! Do something! And I had to man up. I remember this story back in uh, 2021. I was at my old house. I, me and my girlfriend at the time, I saw a spider over there and she was like, oh my god, do something! Ah! I took my slip and I told her stand back I got this I braved up I went straight forward and with a split second she, the spider I, I didn't know the gender I didn't want to assume the gender because I might have offended it but the spider went from he she to they them it split it everywhere and the second i hit it because i've always seen like videos of like people trying to kill spiders and then once they hit it the spider like flies off like jumps up onto you the second i hit it i threw the slippers around without knowing if it's dead or not and i gave a scream like this ah! obviously after killing that spider i played it all cool i was like that's what you get if you scare my girlfriend and i like just like manned up and just like Stood like this. And my girlfriend at the time, she was like, Oh my god, you're such a brave man. You have big, big muscles. I was like, yes, I know. But in the back of my head, I was like, fuck, what if his wife or her husband saw me do it? Or his or her mother or father are like watching me from upstairs? That night, I did not sleep. I, I, I didn't fucking sleep at all. The exoskeleton is their bones on the outside of their body. They shed their exoskeleton. All right, hold the fuck up. We have white cockroaches? What else do we have? Are, are they painted or is it real? All right, I'm actually learning. I, I watched this video like last week. Then now, today, I'm making a video about it. I totally forgot that 
I watched a white spider. What's next? Are there more colors coming out? The skeleton, they turn snow white for just a couple of hours and then they get their normal color back. The roaches, they do not bite. They're not harmful at all, except they may be a little stinky once in a while. This is a taxidermy beetle. I use them to clean out the dead bugs in my cage so it doesn't smell so bad. They're called taxidermy beetles because they eat the flesh off bones. The tiny ones eat the flesh off of your skin, and guess what? She has hundreds of them and she cuddles with them at night. I feel like no one should ever prank this girl or the parents should never. Imagine the parents are like one day they had enough and out of a sudden they start poisoning the whole house and all of the cockroaches just turn up dead. I feel like that's going to be her villain story and the man in black villain guy. It's going to turn out to be a woman and she's going to take it seriously and she's going to like eat the cockroaches and have superpowers afterwards. Or in the real world, she's going to buy a gun and she's going to pew pew the parents and then it's going to be a whole story. Child took revenge of her cockroaches by unaliving her parents. <laughs> but hey, this channel is all about wholesome things. Who are we to judge her that she has cockroaches as pets? Maybe she sees something in them that we don't. Maybe the same way I look at my cat, she looks at her cockroaches. I don't know, I'm feeling very wholesome tonight, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be family friendly. Do not say any bad things in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe because you look extra spicy today. And if you're new here on this channel, we make very wholesome content every single day, twice a day, most, most days. But yeah, take care of yourself and I will see you at the next one.